Hi everyone, welcome to this channel of Spitfire and today I'm gonna show you how to create a USB pen drive with Windows 10, okay? Okay, let's go! Okay, so we're gonna start by downloading the software. There is many softwares like the Windows Media Creation Tool, but I'd rather use Rufus as I can use it also with other operating systems such as Linux or boot other ISO images in it, okay? So if you check on the link in the description, you will access to the link in here. It's the same website of the Rufus website. Just go down, you scroll down until you find the Rufus 3.11. That's the latest version who came around two weeks ago. Okay, so you just click on it. It's going to download the file. Okay, you open it. And it's gonna open the software. This is the software, very easy, okay? And that's the time where you plug in the pen drive, okay? Once you plug the pen drive, the computer is gonna detect it and it's gonna show up here, as you see. So now we have the software, but we don't have the Windows image yet. How do we get it? Click in here and we select download. That's a new feature that didn't exist before as uh, Rufus included now on this uh, revision a script called Fido who used to be on GitHub but now it's in here so we can download straight away the Windows files from here. So we just click on download Then we'll have the version we want, so we want the latest, that is the more efficient one, Windows 10, continue. We can choose the release, obviously the latest one for me will be the better, sorry. So the latest release, this from May. You can choose the edition, I will still continue with Home and Pro. Then we can change the language, okay? So we choose the language we want. Just to remind you, once we install the operating system in a language, we cannot change it later on, okay? Not such as an Android tablet or the things that you can select in the settings to change the language. In Windows, once you install the operating system, you cannot change the language anymore, okay? So pay attention to that. Then the architecture we're gonna remain with 64 bits okay all the computers may require 86 bits but i still recommend to keep in 64 bits and then here you have an option if you want to tick the box to download in by using the browser i would just download and keep it on the desktop okay where it's easy for me to find the file press save and it's gonna start downloading this may take a few minutes depending on the internet connection that you have. Okay. And I will come back when it's finished. Okay, so now that the Windows 10 is downloaded, it show it should show automatically in here. Otherwise you can select the root of the file, okay? For me I kept it in the desktop and it came up automatically here. So the rest of the settings are really easy. We leave it on standard Windows installation. Partition scheme, it depends if your computer is older or not. The older computers may require MBR partition scheme and more recent computers you can keep it as GPT partition, okay? Then the target system on GPT will be UFI, okay? But the older computers will be UFI by a secret boot, okay? So we keep it by GPT partition for all the computers. And if you like, we can go on advanced features, but that's not required for, for Windows 10. Then the volume label will be the name we like to put on the pen drive. So for me, it will be Windows 10 in English. System files, we keep them on an NTFS, cluster size the same. And that's it. So just to remind you guys that if you have some files on the pen drive that you just plugged in, just make sure you have a backup of it because we're gonna format the pen drive to make it bootable so it's gonna create some partitions in it 
to make the computer be able to recognize the pen drive to start it as a hard drive on booting okay and that's it we press ok you have the warning reminding you about it you press ok and that's straightforward so here will be the time it will take it will depend on the speed of your pen drive okay i've linked some pen drives that i think uh, in my opinion are good ones okay you have big quantity ones that obviously have more storage for it or you have faster ones for me i'd rather have a faster pen drive than a very big one and that's it 100 percent as you can see it say it's ready and you have a print reminding you that you must disable secure boot on the BIOS but this I will cover it on the next video on how to install Windows it's done as I told you it was pretty easy if you like more videos like this please uh, write it on the comment below okay once again thank you and see you next time